Hi, Achim here from Inner Space Explorers. Today I want to talk about the, in my opinion, best bottom timer for technical diving. And um, before I get into that, um, I made a video, I think two years ago or so, where I was talking about things that I um, miss in diving um, because they're discontinuous, so uh, items I miss in diving. And actually there was a ton of good feedback on that video when people told me like, oh, you can find this, this and there, or there is an alternative that you probably missed, etc., etc. And that was really cool. So um, in this video today, I'm talking a little bit about what I use and why I use it, but most probably there is stuff out that I never saw. Um, and so probably you guys have uh, some recommendations for me or um, some advice, and I really appreciate that. So if you like my content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you do so, please hit that little notification bell so you get uh, information when I upload new content, which normally is once a week. Also, in the last couple of weeks, it was a little bit difficult for me and I couldn't um, keep up with that schedule. All right, bottom timers. So a lot of times in videos, I said that we do not use dive computers. Um, and that basically a bottom timer and a watch is all you need. So that's theoretically correct. And uh, theoretically, that's the two items uh, that are enough to make any sort of dive. And... Um, at the same time, that obviously is not the recommendation. I don't want you to go and buy an analog depth gauge in a dive watch and take this on the dive. That works, but obviously there's more simple and more modern ways of accomplishing um, this and getting the numbers you would get from these instruments. But fact is you need your maximum depth, your actual depth, and you need your time. So this would be enough to do any type of dive, especially um, if you do deco on the fly um, or ratio deco, whatever you want to call it, as we do it. And therefore, this would be the items you, you need. And actually, uh, a big advantage of this is that you would have the seconds um, with their own dial and that uh, would make things a lot easier than on a bottom timer that just shows minutes. And that brings me to something that I used for a lot of the, uh, a lot of years and that is the Zoom to Vitek. Uh, I can't show you how this works because it died actually on the last dive I did with it for whatever reason. But that was my favorite for a very very long time because you could put it in gauge mode so it's a bit of a waste of money, I agree on that, because it's a full-blown computer, but it is like watch size, so you don't have one of these big bars on your arm. And you had your time running here. So you had the total time somewhere down there, and you had your depth, and your maximum depth, etc. And here in the middle you had your runtime, so to speak. And with pressing one button, one button, it was reset to zero and started running again. So timing stops, especially when you do your ascents with a three meter ascent rate and you do these 40-20 uh, stops. So you stay for 20 for 40 seconds and then you move up three meters within the remaining 20 seconds of that minute. That was the perfect instrument to time that and I really loved it. Until today, I have not found any sort of bottom timer that does the same thing. So you have your time running, you press one button, it sets back to zero and continues running and you have your total time obviously still there. So for Deco that was always my absolute favorite and uh, yeah, I haven't found any alternatives for that. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's the way it is. Um, so what I use today is the Scuba Bro 330 or 300, whatever it is called. 330 it's called it's this one which is fine um, <clears throat> it's really basic it shows you your time um, your maximum depth your, av your average depth which I think is completely useless because it stops you from thinking and making your own calculation where do you put your average depth there's another video about this um, and so averaging your dive and um, so I don't like that, but it's a feature they all have for some reason. What I do not like on this, it doesn't show you seconds. 
and you cannot change the battery. And also school actually um, did a great uh, great deal in, in getting rid of plastic in their packing and everything. So I just recently got a new suit and realized that, oh, fantastic, there's no plastic anymore. It's all wrapped in paper and in cardboard, which I really appreciate it. I cannot understand why you make an electronic device that's basically a throwaway where you cannot change the battery. That's kind of stupid. And... Um, yeah, well, it is what it is. So, yeah, that's what I use most of the time. And then uh, what you also probably saw a couple of times uh, is this one, which is the petrol that I use when I do rebreather diving. And again, I'm not using the computer. I'm using it to read my PO2s. And that's because I'm an old father and I have bad eyes. And this is really easy to read, whilst this stuff, sometimes the arm's almost too short to bring it to a distance where you can comfortably read it. Still doable, but uh, if you're my age, you probably know what I'm talking about. And this one is really easy to read. It has these, this, this really bright display. Um, but again, that's a bit of an overkill when you uh, think about the cost. So you see the red numbers here flashing because it's not attached to anything. That's my PO2 and it obviously then gives you time and, uh, and depth, etc. So it's basically like a gauge, um, like a bottom timer with the PO2 uh, from the rebreather from the three cells. So that's really easy to read and I really like that. Um, other than that, it would be overkill. I would never buy it for, for being a computer. So uh, basically what I'm still looking for is a proper sized, good readable bottom timer that shows seconds and that you can reset and restart with the hit of one button. So if this is out there and you know about it, let me know. Um, also let me know in the comment section what you use and why you like it and why you, or why you do not use something because you dislike it or you stopped using it, etc. So share your experience. I'm really looking forward to that. If you want to discuss this a little bit more in detail, check out my Patreon channel. Uh, really nice community there uh, a lot of people that I in the meantime also met in person and that's uh, really great uh, to um, have a bit more personal contact other than that take care and I see you in the next video bye bye